I'm Paul Curtis from Sega Microcontroller in Germany. Uh, before I start, can I ask you to raise your hand if you know what Sega does and what a J-Link is? Okay, there's a few of them. Well, it's one of these. It's a debug probe, rather like you've uh, seen before from my uh, predecessor. Okay, so we think uh, <laughs> it's the ultimate debug probe. Obviously, uh, we have uh, our previous gentleman that was uh, also de describing the same. Uh, our debug probe uh, supports a wide range of processors at the moment for ARM, MIPS, RX8051. Uh, we released RISC-V support about a month ago, and we think that RISC-V is a predominantly uh, great position for Sega to be in. It's for our MIPS, RX, and 8051, we were contracted to produce uh, debug probes for those processors. For RISC-V, we've actually put our own money into uh, the development, and uh, it's not just debug probes that we'll be providing, it's uh, a whole range of things. So now, the debug probe that we have, uh, the J-Link, I'm sure you've all, all used debug probes before. This one is no different. It does exactly the same as every other debug probe on the planet would do. Uh, but we do have some interesting features. So we have integrated flash programming. It's fast. It's reliable. Uh, it's in widespread use. And I'll come into that uh, in a little while. We're probably known best in the ARM community. Uh, so I'm, I'm surprised that n uh, not so many people actually knew what we did. Um, we're known for our great technical support and our ancillary software. So if I move on, uh, J-Link uh, is an open debug probe. Even though it comes from a commercial company, uh, it's completely supported. You can get a J-Link SDK. You can put it into your own product. Uh, you just get the SDK. If you're a software vendor, you can use the SDK to do end-of-line programming, uh, run tests. If you're an IDE provider, you can use our JLink SDK to integrate into uh, your, your product. In fact, quite a lot of uh, ARM customers already do it. For RISC-V, uh, I think we have an integration for Freedom Studio. So now, we, if we move on, uh, we support integrating flashing using JLink's open flash loader. So even though uh, you may have uh, integrated Flash and know how to program that in your, on your target, if you have uh, a new target with a completely different Flash controller, you don't need us to be able to provide flashing support for you. You can write it yourself if you want to, or you can ask us to write it, and we, we will happily charge you. So uh, for the SDK, there's a really simple API. You don't need really to know anything about uh, how everything works under the covers. The API is fully documented in the SDK, completely open. If you, if you contact Sega, you'll be, putting, uh, you'll be given the SDK to put into your product. And we support multiple platforms out of the box. So although Windows is by far the most uh, popular platform for development, uh, we do have support for both MacOS and for Linux. All operating systems, they're all the same. Uh, that n there are features that are the same on every single operating system. They, they are just not different. So the other thing that with J-Link is uh, the frequency of the updates that we provide. It's new devices are added so frequently that we find that uh, updates come out maybe once a week. It means that new devices are added, new flashing is algorithms are added, and any bugs that we've got <laughs> are actually fixed. So J-Link is um, a rather intelligent debug probe. We have provided the intelligence actually in the box. Moving the intelligence down into the debug probe is a, a good idea. It means that all our uh, heavy lifting is done by the intelligence in the debug probe it itself. For other debug adapters that you're commonly uh, familiar with that's from FTDI, a lot of the uh, processing is done on the host. Uh, there's an overhead by loading that information into the debug probe over USB. There's a turnaround time. 
With JLink, we have macro operations in the debug probe itself. It can read memory, it can write memory, debug, halt, modify breakpoints, all intelligently within the probe. So it automatically manages breakpoints and flash. Uh, this is particularly applicable for microcontrollers where they have a limited amount of breakpoints. Uh, if you're debugging in RAM, there's absolutely no problem. You can place a RAM breakpoint, it replaces the instruction, and away you go. You hit the breakpoint and you stop. With Flash, it's much more difficult. However, JLink has <coughs> transparent Flash breakpoints. You can place a breakpoint in Flash. Doesn't matter how many breakpoints there are. It reads the breakpoint uh, from reads memory from the target, replaces it with a breakpoint by flashing again, runs, stops, will flash again to remove the breakpoint. It's completely transparent. The other thing that JLink can do, because it's intelligent, it can autonomously sample tar target memory. Uh, this is one of the key things that uh, JLink provides in addition in its software suite. So uh, it might surprise you to know that we've sold over 600,000 units of JLink. It's been in use and in continual development for 13 years now. It's had widespread adoption for on board manufacturers. So JLink OB is a little device that you plug down, put down on your board. It comes with absolutely every single uh, feature that you can that uh, JLink supports. And Sega use their own JLink to develop JLink. So if you want to get a JLink, different variants, you can just buy them off the shelf from any uh, catalog manufacturer, uh, catalog distributor. So uh, Sega prides themselves on how fast things are. So I have to do the standard it's fast slide. Download to RAM is done extremely quickly. Programming uh, Flash is extremely fast. It's downloaded to the J-Link, and while the J-Link is programming the, the Flash, the next block is coming down over USB or over IP. So it's easy to deploy. If you've got a target board and you want uh, an evaluation board with J-Link on board, we can supply drag and drop programming. You take your firmware from uh, the PC, J-Link comes up as a mass storage device, you drop it onto the target, and it, it's programmed. So there's a bunch of different J-Links available. J-Link OB for target boards, Edu Mini for uh, educationalists. It's $18, I believe. It's very small. It's easy to use. It comes with the features that uh, all the regular J-Links come with. And also, J-Link can support debugging over uh, long distances using a J-Link con connection server. So you can debug across continents. So J-Link on RISC-V, uh, it's available on all J-Link models now. Every single J-Link is able to uh, debug RISC-V. J-Links uh, can debug ARM and all other processors as well. You just need a small little adapter on the, on the target to convert to the target debug adapter format. We support the current debug specification 0.13. Uh, we need to support 0.11, which is on the uh, high fives, uh, the high five one board. We've got optional debug features supported that are, are in the debug unit. It's well tested. We always test our, our stuff. ARM and RISC-V have equal standing in, in SEGA. Uh, the RISC-V stuff is, is completely implemented. We're standing 100% behind it. And also, you can now debug ARM and RISC-V on the same JTAG chain using one device uh, using our software. So JLink is the, the debug probe. We've got uh, our own standalone debugger. If you have an ELF uh, object, you can load it and run it automatically <coughs> programmed using uh, our, our debugger. It's got all the standard features of a, a debugger, so register window, single step, breakpoints, the lot. We also, if you have uh, additional features provided by JLink, so system view is a way 
that we can read target memory, as I said, autonomously, and find out what's happening on the target with a little bit of help from the target itself. So System View, again, is a free uh, application. Sources for the, the target code are all available. All you have to do is download and run it with your JLink. Runs with any JLink. Obviously, the more expensive ones run faster, but it, it will run on the $18 device as well. And uh, just last week, we announced uh, Embedded Studio for RISC-V, which is uh, the JLink's <laughs> IDE. Uh, it's exactly the same as our JLink for, uh, sorry, Embedded Studio for ARM IDE. It's got all the same features. It has uh, everything you need from an IDE, project management, Git integration, subversion integration, parallel builds. It is a premier development uh, environment that's been in continuous development for 15 years now. And one of the other things, if you go to production, we also use the J-Link technology in our flashing units. So these three units happen to be different variants of the same type of thing. One's portable, one's for secure programming. We also have a flasher ATE that we announced, uh, I think about four weeks ago. Uh, and this, uh, it means that we provide everything right from uh, design using Embedded Studio through debugging using J-Link, middleware, that we use uh, in JLink itself and flashing in order to get your application deployed on ATE equipment or small production runs using Flasher. So there's a small little product overview. Most of these products are actually used inside JLink itself, which is why uh, we offer them to the market. Uh, MBOSS, our real-time operating system, is already done. It's out and available. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.